and this is related mm. to the okay, thank you so much uh, to, to, to the uh, yes to the situation great Ali thank you context. so much this so back to him anything to add <laughs> I'm sorry for interruption okay uh, it's, no it, it's okay it's okay so uh, the, uh, the the subject of variety is uh, very uh, uh, linked or it's very uh, close relationships with the studying of language and the society and we can say that uh, it's been determined by uh, many uh, factors as you mentioned here in the social factors which like what, are things example? that yeah. that, uh, that the, the, the factors that affect human lives and affect human ideologies affect human uh, uh, behaviors uh, how to he to be uh, his vocabulary according to the circumstances that he involved in when he to say uh, a standardized language or formalized language where he to say unformalized lang language and uh, the structure of uh, the vocabulary or the language that he is you uh, that is used also influenced by this uh, social uh, factors Okay, thank you so much. So, okay. who takes who, who take the mic? Yeah. Yes, we can. Uh, yes, uh, doctor. So, tell me uh, a little bit about social factors. Um, when we use language, the language is determined by, the, by some social factors. And here we have on screen some of them that participants, the nature of the participants, uh, regarding age, ranks, relationships, setting, topic, function, uh, what else? Yes. We can say that there are many, uh, many factors like the, uh, the income of the uh, people in society also affects their social status in society, okay. I think. Okay, okay. Also okay. Their, uh, Yes. Yes. yes, Ali, please. Okay. Okay, Ali, okay, we'll, we'll get back to you. Let's listen to Ali. Yes, also related to the age, to the background of, uh, of a civil or the, or the member of uh, some uh, social, uh, also the attitudinal uh, factors, uh, the effect of uh, by... habits. Okay, okay. What, what do you mean by attitudinal factors? Uh, such as the, uh, 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 the community, such as the habits, such as the ideas and uh, norms and ideologies, okay. and uh, okay. so on, and strategy and strategy of uh, speaking. Okay. Okay. Well. Well. Thank you. Now, Arij, uh, any ideas, please? I yes, we can say also um, the religious background. I think it affects. Our social oh, great. So we have religious background. Uh, is it the yes, same as ethnic origin, background, uh, ethnic background, racial, or um, yep. how old are the people, the age factor, place of residence, also education, all those factors. Education. The. You mean uh, you, you mean you mean educational level? Hiam, you said some. I hear you saying education. Yes, yes, educational backgrounds for yeah. a person or individual also determine how, how, how would this by determine, social factors. Uh, okay, how would this okay. determine uh, the language by, by the individual? Yes, uh, a, pers a person with PhD, uh, for example, his terminology or his vocabulary is different with a person who is with not uh, oh. an educational by background. His term is different, even his how attitude do you know this? and behavior. Is a person, is a, a PhD holder, is more educated than an MA, for example, candidate? I'm, I'm not saying that he is not more educated. I'm saying that the, the, the choosing of the vocabulary. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm that talking about is, the, the well, choice of words. Speaking. In terms of the uh, choice yes. of words. Yes, because we are studying of language, and language is a group of words. So uh, yes, that's how we come to the humanities. Uh, so language is a means of connections, of means of contact. When I want to know what is you think about, what is your ideology, is it through, through your vocabulary, uh, after, uh, so, all through, right. through the, the social, social circumstance that I am with you inside the classroom, 
the PhD uh, person is, uh, of course, he will uh, choose uh, or uh, illustrate uh, different. What, what, what about uh, okay? What, what about one? your parents, for instance, your mother and your father? Uh, do you think that they are speaking differently when, for instance, talking yes, to of you course. On, over some some important or significant issue? Yes, of course, every individual on the universe has unique way or unique style and registers of uh, vocabulary is different from any other person on the whole world. All right, okay. And uh, why There's is that? There's not two identical. Yeah, well, There's not that? two identical. Is it a divide wisdom, for instance, just to make it so, so special for an individual? Or it is, is it just like a matter reason? of the... Yes, it is like the matter of the uh, fingerprint, eye print, uh, the mind, the thoughts, the same thing. There is okay, no two uh, person that have the same thoughts or the same ideologies or, or the same fingerprint or the same eye, eye, eye print. Yeah, yeah, it's something, I, I uh, that. something in, divine. Of, yeah, in I, addition, I, uh, my colleague uh, said it depends on the style of the uh, individual style. So uh, yes. this style, right. like the fingerprint, as my colleague said, uh, the style is different from one person to another. And uh, within one person, uh, it's different from one uh, place to another. Uh, the individual style at home is different from uh, the style at home. Of course, home. Uh, of course. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's different from his style with uh, his friends. Uh, and uh, as you said, you ask uh, my quick uh, one question what about uh, the parents. Uh, we speak with our parents uh, with uh, uh, some uh, language, some style is different with respect, like what uh, we uh, speak with our teachers. And when they uh, speak uh, w uh, together, my uh, father and uh, mother, when they speak together, they use, uh, even they use gesture, even uh, they use a particular language between them. Sometimes when they speak, we cannot understand them because it is uh, depending sure. on their yeah. style. Absol and absolutely, the, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Th that's how uh, identity, that's how it's yeah. identity shaped, you know. Uh, one individual might have many identities in many different contexts. I mean, this depends exactly. on many, many factors, as you have just mentioned. Well, thank you indeed uh, for all of this. Uh, l let's now shift to talk about one of the significant issues that's linking sociolinguistics with the sociology of language. So that's the, 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 the connection, what's the counterpart, what's the, uh, anything you would like just to comment on this, you are welcome. So what, what do you know about uh, Yes. Uh, Social linguistics, as mentioned yeah. by uh, Ronald Wartoff in his book, in his yeah. introduction, said that social linguistics is different from so uh, sociology of language. Sociology, yeah. so uh, sociology of language focused on uh, the uh, effect of language on society, while uh, social linguistics is, uh, we can say, the descriptive study of the effect of any aspect of society, yeah. for example, cultural okay. norms, Expectations, ideologies, uh, language use, uh, yeah. uh, and the society effects on language. Okay, this great. is in a, a, a very yeah, simple way yeah. the difference between these two terms. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, who else? Uh, who, who can add? Okay, who take the mic? Internet is okay. So okay. I, I will share this with you. Uh, in fact, this is one of the uh, most significant things uh, to remember that social linguistics investigates the relationship between any language and society with the goal of a better understanding of getting a better view of the structure of language and of how language function communication. Okay, this is the major aim of social linguistics. What sociology of language is to find out how social structure can be better understood through the study of language, mm -hmm. how certain linguistic features mm -hmm. serve to characterize particular social arrangements. What, 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 what mm -hmm. okay, could you please just examine these, uh, these lines and tell me what is meant by finding out the, how social structure can be better understood through the study of language? 
and how, how is this connected to uh, sociolinguistics? Social construction can be better understood through system. Uh, yes, I think he is linking this to the social context because if you don't know the language or the or uh, of uh, and uh, terminologies of certain uh, society and certain uh, community, you cannot uh, identify or you cannot interpret what this uh, sentence or what this vocabulary meant by uh, this certain person from this certain co community. For example, you are uh, not from Iraq, you cannot know certain items that's pronounced by uh, certain groups of Iraq that is like yeah. uh, uh, the, the common uh, non-food, uh, or, or whatever. <laughs> when we, we right. say, <laughs> yeah, no, when no. we say it's okay. the, a foreign person, you cannot... <laughs> interpret it correctly unless he uh, he know the social norms or or the social tradition of Iraqis people okay this is depending on culture yes and we can say culture, of course can culture say play, yeah. yeah it plays important uh, part here okay culture is part of social context L let me read uh, something about this social linguistics versus the sociology of language hudson in 1980 states that sociolinguistics is the study of language in relation to society. Uh, most sociolinguists share this view, in fact, in, in one, more or less in one way or another. And yes. sociology of language is, studies, uh, is the study of society in relation to language. Yes, so sure. I think there is different, some kind of difference between these uh, two things, though related, you know? Similar yeah, the first one one is opposite to the second one exactly though related i said so mm -hmm. th th there's some similar ground that shares these two that connects th these two uh, together but both require systematic study of language Smart. so it's the scientific study exactly. of language mm -hmm. all right good yeah and um so the main focus of sociolinguistics would be on society on language society on Yes. Language, the effect of language. society on language. Oh, the and the other one, on, however, yeah. language effects on society. So, you know, society. This, right? the, the, so, the this vice versa. Exactly. This is quite clear. Hmm. Um, um, uh, as you can see here, uh, there is quite, um, uh, let's say, a strong connection between language and society, as, um, uh, as, as explained down here. And of course, please don't worry, I will, I will upload this lecture through YouTube. You can see my YouTube through my YouTube channel. And also I would uh, upload these PDF and uh, PPT documents through um, um, Google Classroom. Classroom. Yeah, you'll, you'll make use of these materials for further studies and also for further examination. Um, as you can see here, the relationship between language and society is represented by the social structure, uh, by age, grading, phenomenon, and the varieties of language, and also uh, other studies uh, that focus on ways of speaking, uh, choice of words, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, and how social context um, uh, determine all of these things, you know? And still we have uh, many other issues to talk about, uh, by one of the, yeah, as you can see here on the, on the board, the social factors, uh, who is talking to whom, wife, husband, customer, shopkeeper, boss, worker, that's what I talked about in just a couple of, uh, of, of minutes ago. Uh, the social setting is also significant to determine the function of interaction here, the aim, the person of the in interaction, the purpose of the interaction, uh, is it, um, uh, what is the topic? I mean, it, it's so significant to know more about this. And also you can find this uh, session examples uh, between, uh, let's say, a kind of dialogue or exchange between um, two persons, probably um, Ray and mom, mom, you know, here we have a mm. good conversation and we have analysis, a piece of analysis down here. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I will leave this to the next session because, you know, it's uh, it's almost one hour. It's um, okay. We'll turn with one hour. That's more than enough. 
let's now reflect on today's presentation. Uh, what do you expect? Uh, I mean, um, could you please give me some briefing on this uh, presentation? Okay, yes, we, uh, we can say that uh, social linguistics is a branch of uh, the, uh, the wide umbrella linguistics. It is a very uh, important, uh, let us say, uh, branch of science. It's yeah. study uh, the effects of uh, language in society, uh, how uh, social uh, norms, how social traditions, how social circumstances, ideologies, attitudes, etc. Yeah. Uh, variety effect on uh, individual uh, language, how can they and affect also their behavior and the vocabulary and uh, terminology that uh, they choose uh, in certain uh, social uh, context. Also, uh, it's, uh, we, we deal with the social uh, factors that affect our language, such as uh, participant settings, uh, you said function, we can say purpose, why, why you we use these certain, uh, certain kinds, let us say, or certain types of uh, uh, vocabulary in certain uh, situations and not use these certain words in other uh, uh, con great, context great. Okay. or in, in other okay. yeah in other conditions uh, it great. is very okay. important uh, science and it is uh, i think it's interesting to be involved in okay thank you so yes, much indeed yeah, for this. Also, yeah please Eric, just yes, take the mic yes we can say also it's a very complicated field since it uh, deals uh, you know, with the human mind what the humans think what they want to improve in, in their society. Also the language varieties, how language variety um, can, um, can determine uh, from where those people are, what, the, what are their uh, educational background, their ethnicity, uh, their, their, um, their religious background, uh, anything that's related to their society it can give us an uh, account of uh, all those varieties uh, that determines the uh, also the age grading that uh, uh, was in society also the sociology of language we come across sociology of language the the, the thing that determines or the uh, the main um, focus of the sociology of language is society, how society influence language and shape language. And no vice versa, and no vice versa actually. Yes, okay. Okay. and okay. what uh, uh, sociolinguistics is about, uh, it's about language, how language uh, can uh, influence or shape our society and can give us an account of who are those well. people and where are they come from? What are their uh, educational uh, background? Backgrounds. Uh, how, uh, sometimes how they think and what reaction we expect from them even. We can, uh, uh, can have an idea of, what, uh, of all of these uh, things that can be related to language. So it's a very complicated, uh, Field. Yeah, that's uh, right. So yeah. it must yeah. be uh, right. covered briefly <clears throat> in one session. So yeah, of course, uh, today is just uh, um, warm we'll, up. Yeah, exactly, warm <laughs> up. It's, it's a road map, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. Uh, yes. who, who take the mic? So Hassan or Ali, please just. Uh, um, yes, it's this, uh, yes, it's it's a complex. Yes. It's a complex because a social linguistics is concerned with the human, concerned with the mind, concerned with the cognitive, yeah. okay. concerned with the ideology, with habit, with the social, with context, with the age, with the style, yeah, with true. all this. Yes, with all this. Social linguistics, when we study when we study social linguistics, we study as the particular speech community such as uh, some uh, community and the different the differences between these communities 
when yeah. we study sociology, we study communication system, a communicative system as a whole, okay. because sociology is concerned with the communicative system as a whole. But yeah. so when we study, but but when we study social and linguistics, it's concerned with the, some communities, such as if you study the Iraq communities and the language, is the language of Iraq communities is uh, different from north, from middle, from and south, because uh, according to the, our habits, our ideologies, when uh, we use some, uh, we use some uh, vocabulary is different from another, another city, such as in Imara, use the same vocabulary is different okay. from Basra. Also, also different. Also, the same city is has the variety of uh, dialect well, and vocabulary. Okay, okay, Ali, okay Ali, and, Ali, thank you so much indeed. Because yes. you know, five minutes left to uh, end up this session. So, uh, thank you indeed, uh, and I would uh, love to hear from you a lot. Uh, hopefully, next session. So, I will take. I'll give the mic now to Hassan just to um, to add anything. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry because the cut of the internet now yeah, I no connect problem. with okay. you. Uh, language varieties. Uh, okay, so uh, we succeeded. Uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, go. Hello, I'm with you. Okay, I hear you. Go on. Yeah. Uh, variety uh, deals with uh, a set, uh, uh, a particular set of linguistic uh, items or human speech patterns. Uh, for example, recently sounds, words, grammatical features, which we can connect with some external factors, apparently geographic area or social group. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, uh, umbrella term uh, that's used by uh, some linguists to cover uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, general topics that uh, deals with uh, uh, sociolinguistics like uh, dialect uh, uh, and style, register and uh, beliefs. Okay, thank you, Hassan. Um, yeah. In fact, yeah. sociolinguistics uh, um, covers a wide range of complicated themes and topics. And it raises many questions like, is there a prestige um, in relation to one or more languages, dialects or accents? Uh, do males and females use language differently uh, what features yes. and strategies do people use to convey social relationships politeness power and personal identity these are questions commonly asked in social linguistics which studies the relationship between language and society and many more actually there are many more questions so um, this course uh, will get you acquainted with basic assumptions concepts and um, concerns that underlie the work of social linguistics so uh, we will cover in this course a wide range of themes that constructs like social variation, stylistic uh, variation, gender and language, uh, language variety, language contact and multilingualism, politeness theory, language policy and in fact many more. So, uh, um, so yeah. this session uh, w w we covered uh, just a very um, uh, introductory session on uh, introductory lecture on how to construe, how to understand social linguistics, and how social linguistics uh, differed uh, from the sociology of language. And there are many in interrelated, complicated uh, relations that uh, do exist among many, many concepts and terms in social linguistics. So, uh, so that's that's enough for today. I would like just to thank you, thank you very much indeed for joining, for taking every single effort to make this possible really i really appreciate that you know it's uh, yeah to you. I thanks to you for this uh, for this refreshing <laughs> lecture uh, okay yeah, I, 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 the we are, uh, I, I, at least we succeeded just i imagine myself yeah, in the, yeah. Classroom at the college of arts all right so next session we will discuss language variety language variation stylistic variation and uh, perhaps we'll cover also gender and language uh, uh, that's going to be hopefully next session. Thank you indeed. Inshallah. Um, Inshallah. Safe and Inshallah. sound days to you and your families.